What I've got with me today is the Wing Home Model 630M trail camera, and the company sent us this camera with the opportunity to test it, and I first want to thank Wing Home for that opportunity. Now, in the course of this video, we are going to look at the video and photo capabilities, as well as talk about specs and price, but before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and unbox it. Now, one of the first things to note about this camera is the size of it. It is roughly the size of a smartphone, and that's one of the things that's advertised along with it. There are a bunch of things that we'll go over as far as the specs, but the size of it is actually quite intriguing. Now there are a number of things in here, a quick start manual and the manual itself for the camera. We'll worry about that stuff in just a little bit. If we go ahead and pull the camera out of here, it may actually be smaller than some of the current smartphones. For the sake of comparison, my iPhone 11 is definitely bigger lengthwise and about the same width as this little trail camera. And of course, the camera itself is a good bit thicker, but that is to be expected with so much packed into a little camera like this. So the first thing to note is this camera is priced at $54 on Amazon. However, if you are interested, there is going to be a code, just all caps meat hunters, I'll put that on the screen as well, for 5% off that's valid through October 8th. Now, this camera is powered with 8 AA batteries, so I think we'll go ahead and put those in, and we'll take a look at what happens when we power it up. Now, I know filming a screen tends to look pretty odd, but one of my favorite features already is the fact that you have a preview of where the camera is pointed. And in my mind, that's extremely important in setting up a trail camera. You wanna know exactly what you're gonna be capturing with your photos. And the menu is very simple. You can see I have it set up right now to just take one picture, 16 megapixels to get the max quality. And when we get to do the video, it's gonna be set to 1080p. Now, the one thing I didn't see was a indicator of how often a picture is taken. I'm guessing it's something like once every minute, maybe once every 30 seconds. That tends to be standard, but I don't see a setting to change that. Also included in the box with the camera was a USB cable and a tree strap. And with that tree strap, we're going to take the camera out, set it up, and basically do the real test now. I set up the camera in a cluster of apple trees in an area that I knew a lot of deer would frequent. It may have looked like the camera was set up kind of low, but we're actually on a decent slope here and I think the camera's in pretty much a perfect position to capture deer coming to any of these apple trees and you can see for yourself, this place is absolutely loaded with apples so I'm quite certain deer are going to be coming in here even this evening and hopefully by tomorrow we have some decent pictures. Now, I've intentionally set myself up directly in line with where the camera is facing. I'm hoping as we do this, we can essentially be running a test and see just how often the camera takes pictures. And like I said, I expect it to be once every 30 seconds, once every minute. Hopefully, this is going to allow us to figure that out. The last thing is, the camera is stated to basically be IP66 rated for waterproof. It's dustproof. I think the temperatures it listed, basically, it would operate between negative 25 and 60 degrees Celsius. Again, that's kind of to be expected for a piece of equipment you're going to leave potentially outside year round, but I guess better listed than not. I grabbed the GoPro that I brought with me and got everything out of there, and now we're going to get out of here and let the camera do its job. As you can see, the image quality is quite solid, and the deer in frame here are actually even a bit farther away than what I would consider ideal. So let's talk specs. Firstly, the max detection range for this camera is 20 meters. However, the deer you're looking at here are more like 10 meters, so deer at that max range are likely to be rather small in the frame. For the sake of covering as many scenarios as possible, I've also included a few images where this young buck was a little closer to the camera. At 0.4 seconds, the trigger speed for this camera is solid, and from what I can tell, it did a pretty good job at keeping moving deer pretty much in the center of the frame. The max image quality is 16 megapixels as mentioned, but there are options for lower quality, which would allow for more images to fit on one card and maybe save a little battery life. I will admit, I don't love the aspect ratio as the image ends up looking kind of square. However, the field of view is still good, and the actual image resolution is 4608 by 3456 pixels. As for night pictures, the camera has an infrared sensor, which gives these black and white or more gray and white images. While the pictures of deer standing a bit more still are once again very good quality, I did notice a trend of moving deer being a bit more blurry. It's hard to say whether or not this was a coincidence, however I would also say that it's somewhat expected, as a lot of the cameras I've used in the past 
tended to struggle in that area. And by the way, I was able to determine that the camera takes pictures every 5 seconds as long as there's something in frame to set it off. For the following night, I set the camera to video mode. The first thing to note here is that the video length is 5 seconds, but the camera has options for videos anywhere between 5 and 59 seconds long. As mentioned earlier, the videos are 1920 by 1080 resolution, and I was able to look at the file and determine the frame rate to be 30 frames per second. Unfortunately, I didn't have any daylight videos. However, all the night videos were clear and great quality, so I have no worries there. After just a couple nights, I am genuinely pleased with this camera, and it will no doubt be added to the arsenal this year. As we watch a few of the remaining videos, I'd like to once again thank Wing Home for the opportunity to test the camera, and again, if you're interested in purchasing one, you can use our code all caps meat hunters with no space for 5% off your purchase. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.